Welcome to our Australia Briefing program. Today, we're diving into a mix of music, royal fashion, and a celestial spectacle that has everyone talking. First up, the Eurovision Song Contest is making headlines again, but not for the reasons you might expect. Dutch entry Joost Klein has been disqualified amidst controversy, and there's a growing protest against Israel's participation, stirring the pot in what's supposed to be a politically neutral contest. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle has been turning heads in Nigeria, not just with her presence but with her carefully chosen outfits that scream royal tour. Her fashion choices are not only elegant but loaded with meaning, showcasing her connection to the royal family through her attire. And for our final piece, the sky has been putting on its own show, thanks to the most extreme solar storm in 20 years. This rare event has brought the northern lights to unusually low latitudes, delighting skywatchers across Europe and the United States. Please stay tuned for detailed coverage on these stories. In the vibrant and often unpredictable world of Eurovision, the 68th contest, hosted in Malmö, Sweden, has not been without its share of drama and controversy. This year's competition has been particularly embroiled in political tension, especially surrounding the inclusion of Israel's entry, Eden Golan, a 20-year-old singer who has become the focal point of protests due to the ongoing conflict in Gaza. The situation has escalated to the point where climate activist Greta Thunberg has accused Israel of attempting to artwash their image through their participation in Eurovision. This accusation highlights the complex interplay between politics and entertainment, a balance the European Broadcasting Union, EBU, strives to maintain by keeping the event politically neutral. However, the decision to include Israel, especially in the wake of the EBU's ban on Russia following its invasion of Ukraine, speaks volumes about the political undertones that inevitably seep into the contest. Adding to the controversy, the Dutch entry, Joost Klein, found himself disqualified from the grand final due to an incident involving a female crew member, an event that has further complicated the atmosphere of this year's competition. According to reports from The Telegraph, the EBU has a strict zero-tolerance policy towards inappropriate behavior, a stance that underscores the importance of maintaining a respectful and safe environment for all participants and crew members involved in the event. This incident, which led to a complaint to Swedish police, has undoubtedly cast a shadow over the competition, reminding us of the challenges and responsibilities that come with organizing such a large-scale international event. In a completely different realm of public attention, Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, has been making headlines during her visit to Nigeria with Prince Harry. Known for her thoughtful and symbolic fashion choices, Meghan's outfits throughout the tour have been laden with meaning. From wearing a blush silk maxi dress dubbed the Windsor style, reminiscent of the year she married Harry, to adorning herself with Princess Diana's cross pendant necklace and a Cartier tank Francaise watch, Meghan's wardrobe choices subtly nod to her royal connections and the significance of her public appearances. Despite stepping back as a working member of the royal family, her fashion selections, as reported by The Telegraph, illustrate a deep understanding of her unique position in the public eye and her ability to communicate through her style. Shifting gears to a more somber note, The Independent reports a tragic incident at a New York punk rock concert that left a fan, Bird Pish, partially paralyzed. The accident occurred when the lead singer of the Australian band Trophy Eyes decided to stage dive, landing on Pish and causing severe injuries that necessitated extensive surgery. This incident has sparked a conversation about concert safety and the responsibilities of artists and venues to their audiences. The band's response, a donation of $5,000 to a GoFundMe page set up for Pish's medical bills, alongside the venue's reiteration of its policy against crowdsurfing, highlights the ongoing challenges in ensuring the safety of concertgoers while maintaining the energetic atmosphere that defines live punk rock shows. From the glitzy, politically charged Eurovision stage in Sweden to the tragic aftermath of a punk rock concert in New York, these events encapsulate the diverse and often unexpected ways in which entertainment and real life intersect. Whether it's through the symbolic gestures of a duchess's wardrobe, the political controversies of a music competition, or the unforeseen dangers of a live performance, these stories remind us of the powerful impact of public figures and events on our collective consciousness and the importance of safety, respect, and understanding in all forms of public engagement. In an astonishing revelation that could have far-reaching implications for international politics and environmental policy, Russia has uncovered vast oil and gas reserves beneath the icy expanse of the Antarctic. According to a report by The Telegraph, this discovery, consisting of an estimated 511 billion barrels of oil, has stirred controversy and concern, especially since a significant portion of these reserves lies within territories claimed by the UK. This monumental find, which is said to be approximately 10 times the cumulative output of the North Sea over 50 years, 
was brought to light following a series of detailed surveys conducted by the Russian agency Rosgeo. Despite the potential for economic gain, the 1959 Antarctic Treaty, which strictly prohibits any form of mineral or oil development in the region, stands as a significant barrier to exploitation. The UK's interests in Antarctica, managed by the Foreign Office, have come under scrutiny, with accusations of inattention to the unfolding crisis. This situation raises critical questions about sovereignty, environmental preservation, and the future of one of the planet's last unspoiled frontiers. Switching gears to the world of sports, The Guardian reports a dramatic turn of events in the English Premier League, where Burnley has faced relegation after a heart-wrenching defeat at Tottenham. The match, filled with highs and lows, saw Burnley initially taking the lead with a goal from Jacob Brun Larsen, only for Tottenham to bounce back with goals from Pedro Porro and Mickey van den Venerable this victory for Spurs sealed Burnley's fate, consigning them to play in the championship next season. Under the leadership of Vincent Kompany, Burnley's aspirations for staying up were dashed, marking a significant setback for the club and its supporters. The relegation of the Clarets is a poignant reminder of the unpredictable nature of football, where fortunes can change in the blink of an eye. On a brighter note, the CBC brings us an uplifting story from the world of women's rugby, where the Canadian team triumphed over host Australia in the Pacific Four Series. This impressive 33-14 victory not only showcased the Canadian team's skill and determination but also elevated them to third place in the world rugby rankings. The match was a testament to the team's prowess, with standout performances from Sarah Klein and McKinley Hunt, who scored two tries each, and Delika Menon, who also made her mark on the scoreboard. This win is particularly significant as it secures Canada's spot in the elite division of the WXV competition, highlighting the team's status as a formidable force in international women's rugby. The Canadian women's rugby team's success is a source of national pride and an inspiration to aspiring athletes across the country. These stories, ranging from geopolitical tensions in the Antarctic to the highs and lows of the sports world, illustrate the diverse tapestry of global events shaping our world. Whether it's the discovery of untapped natural resources, the unpredictable nature of football, or the triumph of a national rugby team, each narrative offers a unique insight into the challenges and achievements that define our times. In a breathtaking display of nature's power and beauty, the Earth recently experienced its most extreme solar storm in two decades, according to the Washington Post. This extraordinary event, the first of its magnitude since 2003, painted the skies with mesmerizing northern lights, extending their reach far beyond their usual territories. Spectators across Europe were treated to this celestial spectacle, and even those in the United States, as far south as Alabama and Florida, found themselves under the magical auroras. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, was quick to issue warnings about the potential disruptions this geomagnetic storm could cause, including satellite and radio communications, and even the electricity grid. With geomagnetic storms categorized from G1 to G5, with G5 being the most severe, this event reminded us of the delicate balance between Earth's technological advancements and nature's unpredictable power. Switching gears to the world of sports, the Sydney Morning Herald provided an in-depth look at a pivotal moment in Australian Football League, AFL, history. The Western Bulldogs, overcoming a three-match losing streak, delivered a stunning 49-point victory over Richmond, marking the Tigers' most significant defeat in five years. This victory not only reinvigorated the Bulldogs' season but also left Richmond's premiership defence teetering on the edge. With the Bulldogs now sitting 12th and still fighting for a spot in the top eight, their upcoming match against Greater Western Sydney is poised to be a season-defining moment. Meanwhile, Richmond, plagued by a series of injuries, finds itself in a precarious position, barely holding on to a lead over the Bulldogs and struggling to secure a spot in the top eight. This match was a testament to the unpredictable and thrilling nature of sports, where fortunes can change in the blink of an eye. In the octagon, a different kind of battle was brewing, as reported by Yahoo US. Alonzo Menafield and Carlos Ulberg were set to face off in a light heavyweight clash at UFC on ESPN 56. Both fighters entered the bout on impressive streaks, with Menafield unbeaten in his last five fights and Ulberg boasting a five-fight winning streak, including four stoppages. MMA junkie analyst Dan Tom weighed in on the matchup, predicting that Ulberg's recent improvements and precision would grant him a second-round knockout victory over Menafield. Despite Menafield's underdog status with odds at plus 210, the fight promised to be a thrilling encounter, showcasing the raw talent and determination of two of UFC's rising stars. This matchup was a reminder of the high stakes and fierce competition in the world of mixed martial arts, where every fight can dramatically alter the trajectory of an athlete's career.
These stories, spanning from the cosmic wonders above us to the competitive sports arenas, highlight the diverse tapestry of events that captivate our attention and imagination. Whether it's the awe-inspiring beauty of the northern lights triggered by a rare solar storm, the dramatic twists and turns of an AFL season, or the intense rivalry inside the UFC octagon, these narratives underscore the unpredictable and often breathtaking nature of our world and beyond. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.